Think you know The Legend of King Arthur, the once and future king? Well, you probably don't know this version of events. Today in this video, I'm going to be sewing a Raglan shirt inspired by Brie, the main character in Tracy Dion's debut novel, Legendborn. Hi, I'm Allie, literary sewist. Here in my crafting castle, I create projects inspired by the books I read. Hang tight while I show you some of my best tricks for sewing a Raglan and tell you about why this modern take on the Arthurian legend inspired me. While I'm cutting out this pattern, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what this story is about. Bree is our main character. Her and her best friend have been accepted into an early college program at UNC Chapel Hill. This happens to be the college that her mother went to when she was a little bit older. She went for the regular college program. However, Bree's mother passed away in a car accident about three months before this story starts. So that's what takes our story off into the direction we are going. On the night before Bree's first day of classes, there's a party. She wants to use this as an excuse to avoid the grief that she's going through. Everything that she's felt since her mother died has really overwhelmed her and she wanted to just relax and have a night off. So even though they're not supposed to go off campus, she convinces Alice to go off campus with her and they go to this party. So at this party, Bree witnesses a magical attack against some students who don't know what they're seeing. And there's some other students who are fighting back against these creatures and Bree sees what's going on, but she doesn't understand what's going on. The students that are fighting back go around wiping everybody's memory so that there are no witnesses of the event itself. Brie, however, it doesn't stick. She remembers every detail of exactly what happened when she was doing this, when she was seeing them fight these monsters and sees what the creatures are. But she doesn't understand what she's seeing. Brie and Alice end up getting in trouble for leaving campus and they get assigned student mentors to help guide them through their early days. Nick is who is assigned to Brie. Somehow during the day, Brie discovers that Nick has ties to these creatures and kind of understands what's going on and maybe can help her. He also has ties to some of the secret societies on the UNC campus. And Brie is going to use Nick to get in and spy and learn what is going on that she doesn't know or understand what she's seeing. She somehow has a feeling that this might have ties to her mother's death. So it becomes very important to her. Don't want to give too much away about this story, of course, because, you know, I want everybody to go out and read this book, but it was a lot of fun. One thing I did want to mention, and one thing that inspired this project itself was Brie and her friend, Alice. Alice, um, comes from a different heritage background, but they grew up in the same small town. Um, they're both minorities, so they have a lot in common that way. And they bonded over their level of intelligence. They're both extremely smart, grade A student, grade A, A grade students, and they joined this college program together so that they could learn and grow and get outside their small town. And while Brie is dealing with grief, Alice doesn't exactly know what she's going through, but Alice has known her her entire life. So it kind of feels like Alice needs to step up. Alice was a great best friend. One thing that they do with each other is they quote pop culture and literary references. Um, and then the other one be like, hey, did you just so-and-so me? Or like, hey, did you just Jane Bronte me? And it's really cute and adorable and they do this a few times throughout the story so it's kind of the inspiration for this project i will actually be using a quote from the book in a similar manner to that all right i had already cut out the neckband and the sleeves for this project so let's go sew first let's talk about the raglan arm side it can't be cut on the fold because the curves are very different When setting out the pieces, be sure to keep the front and back separate. Marking them with notches, erasable pens, or clips are super helpful for this. Start with the front arm sides. If the pattern has notches, line them up now. 
I like to clip at the top and bottom, then ease the curve together. Now sew! Now do the other sleeves front arm side, followed by both back arm sides. Next, you will connect the side seams front and back, connect the joint seam under the arm first, then line up the rest. Time to add the neckband. Be sure to check out my How to Sew Perfect Bands video for full details. To quarter the neckband of a raglan, first find the center of the front and back panels, then bring those two points together, lining up the front and back until you reach the center sides. All that's left is to sew around the neckband, then hem the sleeves and bottom of the shirt. Because I was inspired by the girl's game of quotes. Instead of using vinyl lettering, I used it as a template. Then, with acrylic paint, I painted over the template onto the fabric. Just be careful not to go over the edges of your template or oversaturate the fabric. Lift up the template, then let it dry. All right, so now that I've told you about my new quotable raglan shirt and the book that inspired this project, why don't you head over here and check out some more book review inspired sewing projects. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I'd love it if you'd also ring the bell so you get notified every time there's a new video uploaded. See you next time.